Hello grade 8 students! For today, we will be discussing proving statements on right triangle congruence. In today's learning target, you should be able to accurately apply terms, properties, theorems, and postulate in proving triangle congruence. So let's have a short recall first on our right triangle congruence. So state the postulate or theorem that can be used to conclude the triangles are congruent. So on our figure number one, we have here two legs. So this is under LL theorem. On our second figure, we have here a given hypotenuse and leg. So this is under HL theorem. And for our third figure, we have leg and angle. So this is under LA theorem. And for our last figure, we have a given leg. And the hypotenuse of our triangle is congruent to each other because they share a common side. So this is under HL theorem. So now let's use the following concepts in proving statement. So let's have example number one. So given the triangle ATH and A angle ATM are right angles, T is the midpoint of MH, prove that triangle MAT is congruent to triangle HAT given the figure below. So again, the first thing that we need to input on our statement is our given and put given as a result. So now, we have here right angles. Always remember class that if we have right angles, automatically that angle will be right triangle. So we can say that if we have angle APH and angle ATM as our right angles, we can conclude that triangle ATM and triangle ATM are right triangles. We can say that because it is from the definition of right triangles. Next given, T is the midpoint of MH. So we can say that MT is congruent to TH by the definition of midpoint. Sir, why is it congruent? Because always remember that when we say midpoint, it divides or it bisects our segment into two congruent points. In this given, that is MT and TH. Next, obviously on our figure, the two triangles share a common side, that is side AT. So we can say that AT is congruent to TA by the reflexive property of congruence. So we can say that these triangles, triangle MAT and triangle HAT are congruent because of the LL theorem. Next, let's have example number 2. So, given that angle Q and angle S are right angles, QR is congruent to SR, prove that a triangle PQR is congruent to triangle TSR given our figure on the side. So, again, we copy our given and put given as the result. So, again, if we have right angles, automatically we have right triangles. And those two right triangles are triangle PQR and triangle TSR. And the reason here is, it is from the definition of right triangles. Again, obviously, looking on our figure, we can see that we have vertical angles. And what are those two vertical angles? Those are angle PRQ and angle PRS. Okay? And that is from the definition of vertical Angles. And if they are vertical, automatically there will be congruent angle. So angle PQR, or rather angle PRQ is congruent to angle TRS using the vertical angle theorem. So using our figure, of, we can see that we have here a leg and we have an acute angle. So these two triangles are congruent by the LA theorem. Let's have our third example. Angle A and angle E are right angles. SB bisects angle S. Prove that SA is congruent to SE. So the first thing that we need to do here is to prove that our triangles are congruent. And then on the last part of our proof, we can use the CPCTC to make use of SA is congruent to SE. So again, we copy our given on our statement and put given as the result. 
If angle A and angle E are right angles, automatically triangle SAB and triangle SEB are also right triangles. It is because of the definition of right triangles. Now, SB bisects angle S. Okay? So, when we say bisect, it divides the angle into two congruent parts. What are those two angles? So, we have angle ASB and angle ESB. They are congruent because of the definition of angle bisector. Sir, what's the difference between angle bisector and line segment bisector? So, when we say angle bisector, it divides the angle into two congruent parts. But when we say line segment bisector, it divides the line segment into two congruent parts. Parts. So now, observing our figure, we can see that the hypotenuse of our triangle share its sides to the other triangle. So we can see that SB is congruent to BS by applying the reflexive property of congruence. So we can conclude that these two triangles, triangle SAB and triangle SEB are congruent because of the HL Theorem. Again, this is not HL, this is HA theorem. Okay? HA theorem. Now, we prove that these two triangles are congruent, so automatically SA and SE will be congruent using the CPCTC because the corresponding parts of congruent triangle are always congruent. Now, let's have our last example. So, given that CD is congruent to EA, AD is the perpendicular bisector of CE, prove that triangle CBD is congruent to triangle EBA. Again, we copy our given and put reason as our given. Okay? So, here, we know that perpendicular bisector creates a right angle. So, if AD is the perpendicular bisector of CE, automatically, angle CBD and angle EBA are right angle. The reason here, it is because of the definition of perpendicular bisector. And now, class, that if we have right angles, automatically, we also have right triangles. So, triangle CBD and triangle EBA are right triangles from the definition of right triangles. So here, like what I've said, when we say perpendicular by sector, it is not just creating right angles. It also divides the segment into two congruent parts. What are those two congruent parts? Those are line segment CB and line segment EB. And the reason is, it is from the definition of perpendicular by sector. Now, given our illustration, we can say that these two triangles are congruent because of the HL theorem. I hope this is clear with you. Now, it's your turn. Pause the video for a while and I will be revealing the answer afterwards. So, here are the answers on our previous exercises. For number one, the answer is given. For number two, triangle PRS and triangle RPQ are right triangles. For number three, PR is congruent to RP. And for number four, HL theorem. I hope you really understand our lesson for today. This will be the last topic intended for our term exam. Do not forget to access your paper accounts for a short assessment. Thank you and God bless us all.